Hello and welcome to this video for helmet removal. Today, because we're going to be working in a team, we are going to be wearing just extra protection because we're still currently in the COVID pandemic. So I will be wearing a mask throughout this uh, video. So we're going to look at helmet removal. And the first thing we need to understand is, do we need to remove the helmet or can it be left in place? We only remove the helmet when it is absolutely essential to do so. So it may be causing airway issues or it may be causing um, other issues where we need to do action for vomit, etc. Uh, once the helmet's off, we can then obviously go to applying our cervical collar, which is in another video. So what we're first of all going to do is establish the patient's uh, level of consciousness and do our primary survey. Tracy's going to come in now and just take manual inline stabilisation with the helmet still in place. And now that she's got that manual inline stabilisation, I can do my observations. And with some helmets, you are able to flip it up so I can see the patient's eyes, maybe remove sunglasses, talk to the patient do some basic obs. Uh, other helmets may have a section where the whole headpiece flips up. So on this helmet, if we push on here, the whole of the headpiece will come up. Tracy is still able to maintain that inline stabilisation. I can get to my patient. We are going to remove some clothing around and one of the key elements is always make sure you undo the strap. On some occasions you may decide to actually cut the strap because this helmet's not going to be used again. This would be quite an easy helmet to remove. So what I'm going to do is just drop this back down to make it like a fixed helmet which would be the hardest one to remove. I'm now going to take over the manual inline stabilisation, so getting my forearm along the sternum and a pistol grip up onto the jaw as best as I can. With my other hand, I'm coming underneath the neck and as high up the occiput as I can, which is not particularly high. Tracy is now now I've got manual inline stabilisation, she can let go, she's going to come down to where the straps are, pull them apart, and she's going to rotate the helmet back to clear the nose, then she's going to rotate to clear the occiput, and then she's going to carry on nice and gently and slowly, and now I'm just going to slide my hand up, wait there a second, good, keep going, so lots of communication, and then the helmet will pop off. Excellent. I've now got the manual inline stabilisation. Tracy needs to take back over so I can apply a collar. Because there's a gap under the head, Tracy's put the blanket down there to fill that gap. And when she's on, I'm on. I'm off. I can then remove my hands. We can see the patient's not quite in neutral alignment. So the back of the head needs to go down, Tracy. Down, down. Perfect. Now I'm happy the patient's in neutral alignment. I can now measure for a collar, um, remove clothing and apply the collar as per the other video. 